Hi, I'm Jason Lawler, and uh, we're here today to show you how to install a set of Lawler guitar strap pickups into a Lawler guitar Stratocaster. Uh, to make it easier for you guys who are bought a new set of our pickups to show you how to install them. So the first thing I would do before you even get started is check your surface that you're working on. I use this uh, deer skin and feel it to make sure there's no nothing on it that a little piece of metal or uh, anything at all that would hurt the finish on the guitar. Then you start off by, I use a string winder because I'm into doing this pretty fast. I loosen the strings quite a bit. You can also take the strings all the way off if you want. But I just loosen them. If I'm working on somebody else's guitar, before I even loosen the strings, I'll measure the uh, action on the uh, guitar to make sure when I get it all put back together that the action is the same as it was before I started. So I want about a good inch of clearance between the strings and the pickups to be able to pull the pickguard and pickup assembly out uh, and have enough clearance. Now I use a I use a driver like this. And if you do use a driver, make sure you set the clutch all the way down to the softest part where you're going to strip out screws. And even with the, the clutch set, I would never drive the screw all the way home because it's probably going to strip it out. In fact, I don't even recommend that you use that if you haven't used one a lot. I recommend you just use a regular screwdriver. Before I, I do pick up the, uh, the electric driver, I'll show you a little trick. The biggest, biggest mistake is to get that screwdriver down on the screw and you're, you're applying force to it and it slips out and runs across your guitar and scratches the finish off. Terrible thing to have happen. So I always hold the tip of the screwdriver like that. So if it did slip out of the screw, I still have it in my hand there. There's my screw. I use a box like this. I throw all my parts in a box so they don't get lost. You don't want to lose a 50's Stratocaster screw. Same thing with a nut driver. I always hold the tip of the driver. It's much faster than using a standard screwdriver. You want to make sure you never drop a tool. Let it fall out of your hands and drop onto the top of the guitar. Done it. Been there. Alright, I get my tool way out of the way, way over there. So, now I have all the screws loose. Should be able to just pull that right up. And out to the side. And there you go. It's probably a good idea put a piece of cloth down over the finish this will keep any solder or if you do manage to drop a tool from hurting the finish so first thing you do is this is a common uh, thing with when you set your pickups up that you tape all the lead wires together to make it nice and clean. So I'm going to take those off. If I'm coordinated enough. Now 
Now at this point, if you've never done this before, you might take a digital photograph of where the lead wires are attached. Uh, so you can just repeat it. But basically, it's, it's really simple. All you're doing is you could just replace one pickup at a time uh, and just trace down to where the uh, where the original pickup was uh, soldered in and just resolder on that point. Um, I'm going to unsolder all the ground wires first. Then I'm going to unsolder the, uh, the hot wires and pull all the pickups out. I'll show you how I do it that way. I'm using a 40 watt chisel tip iron. Uh, you might want to use a 20 watt. A 40 watt, if you do use a 40 watt, you need to be really quick about what you do. You don't want to set it on, a, on the back of a pot potentiometer for very long because you can burn the potentiometer up and if you do burn it up, you'll be able to feel when you turn the knob, it'll feel like it has grit in it or sand or It'll feel all bumpy and coarse and hard to turn. That means you put too much uh, heat on the uh, pot and you burn the, uh, the resistive coating on it where the, the wiper rubs against the resistive coating and it's bubbled up and crinkled. So see how quick that 40 watt heats that up. Get it on and get it right off. You want to be careful about getting a big blob of solder coming off and landing on the guitar again. So, same with the switch. You want to be really quick. Don't let your uh, soldering iron sit on that switch for very long. If you're using a 20 watt, you can leave it on there longer, but this will give you a really nice, really nice solder joint. Uh, if you're quick about it. Now I've got them to that point. I'm flip it back over. And unscrew the pickup. Notice how I put the tool way far away. Get all the parts. You don't want to drop one of these springs down on the table and then roll your guitar back across it. I'm putting all the parts in a box, as I mentioned earlier. Notice I don't even really transfer the tool over the guitar from one hand to another. Drop it right on the face of it. Okay, so now I got a clean surface there to work with. And that's probably taking what a couple minutes.